Well, I got two questions for you. One, did you see The Real Housewives last night? Uh, no, I was watching Dallas. Oh, well, then number two, what do you think about all these tech tools that are saturating the educational environment right now? You know, it's fascinating. We've got a new teacher named Kelly. Get out! And yes! What? She takes me back to when I was in the classroom, teaches a me what these... A long time ago. Could have been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Teaches me how to use these AI tools and things that I could or couldn't do, should or shouldn't do with them. Oh. It's really fascinating. Here's Kelly. Hello, today we'll be going over QuestionWell, which is an AI um, content creating tool that teachers can use um, to create multiple choice questions. Um, and then you could also create short answer questions or fill in the blank or a mixture of all types. Um, but to, do, to use those features, you have to upgrade to a paid version. Um, the QuestionWell website is um, pretty neat because you can export um, your questions that it creates to um, educational websites such as Kahoot, Quizlet, Quizzes, um, and then also to Microsoft and Google. Emily. Yo. I met this cool middle school science teacher. Uh-huh. Where's she, she from? She's from Boston. Okay. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. She had a legit problem. What's that? Assigning oh. questions, creating questions, aligning them to content and standards. Uh-huh. She created her own AI tool. Ooh. And then she's been working with schools across the country to mm -hmm. get this out there. It's kind of neat. Um, and then also some other features, which you'll see in a second. Um, but so first I'll just show you um, what kind of questions it creates. So let's do get 10 multiple choice questions based on the declaration of independence in English. And let's do at a fifth grade reading level. Um, so you can choose from a variety of languages um, and a variety of grade levels. It even goes to college. Um, again, you'll be able to export these to a variety of websites, which we'll see in a second. And yeah, you can really um, ask it to create questions about any content you are covering in class, which is nice. So here we go. So it creates right here, it creates a reading for the students um, to read over. And then it's nice because it creates some essential questions for us. And then you have to upgrade to see vocabulary. And then here are some questions that it creates. And then right here, you can um, add, add pictures. You can dislike the question. You can double check it with a Google search. And then you can write your own questions at the end. And if you pay, um, you can generate, have it generate more questions. Um, and then right here is where you select if you want it to export. Um, and then here is a list of everything that we can export to. So, Walt, if I understand you correctly, I can take like a question bank, essentially, that I've created, embedded, and I can put it into different um, tools that I might use with students. Like I use Kahoot all the time with my kindergartners. Could I do that? Or like Quizlet or all yes. those other like question um, and answer that are super engaging for students? Yes. Fantastic. 